please welcome to stage the fantastic Ray Bradshaw. I had a different upbringing to imagine a lot of people in this room and that my mom and dad are both deaf. I grew up learning sign language, I'm fluent in sign language. Uh, so when I was young, six, seven years old, I would phone the bank for my mom and dad. I would interpret for them. So speaking in front of people has never ever fazed me. And every time I tell someone that, they always ask me the same question. What's it like growing up with deaf parents? And it's fine, it's cool, until you run out of toilet roll. <laughs> so my dad has never heard in his life, he's never spoken. Radio phoned me and said, can you bring your dad in for a radio interview? And I was like, oh, that's quite funny. They've absolutely f***ed that. And then I told my dad, thinking he would laugh, and he went, let's see how far we can take this. <laughs> and I was, okay. <laughs> this is how far we got. We got into a radio studio in Glasgow, and they said to my dad, profoundly deaf all his life, they said to him, can you put some headphones on? And my dad went, yeah, no problem, and sat and put them on his head. And then took them off about 10 seconds later and signed to me. I don't think they're working. <laughs> just like, yes, Dave. Ripping the piss out of them right to their faces. I thought my dad could hear, but chose not to. Like, we had a phone in the house. Why the f did we have a phone? Things like that. And I thought my dad was a spy. So I thought he could hear, but chose not to. So I thought he was spying on someone. So I used to, when I was like six or seven years old, I used to go and stand behind him in the kitchen and go, fire! And he wouldn't move, and I'd be like, he is good, man. He is. He's probably KGB or something. People have slagged me senseless today. Uh, I, was, I went to a, a chemist earlier because I, we were on the road, so I'd run out of toiletries, and I couldn't remember what the one thing was. And I was wanting to buy more shower gel, and I couldn't remember what it was. And as I was buying the stuff at the till, I went to the woman, oh, I can't remember what the other thing was. And she just looked at me and went, I'm guessing it wasn't shampoo or hairspray. <laughs> Yeah! 